I'm Celia. Let's do some tie-dye. All right, let's just jump into it. Today, we're gonna do a hoodie. It's been soaked in soda ash and tumbled. Before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment. Tell me what colors you think would be the best combination. I'm gonna do the hoodie in the muck uh, just so the whole sweater gets saturated with the ice. Okay, so I've gotten a container. It's just from Dollarama. Nine and a half quart, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna fold the hoodie in a crumple shape. I, I guess I got some residual dye on here, but that's okay. Oh my god. Squish it all down. Squish it. Just checking the back to see if I like well those folds. And I guess they're decent. See these like this, how it's just like a straight line and a straight line. I kinda don't like that. So I'm going to attempt to do a little twist in there. Like a little spiral. And then we'll kind of see how that turns out, I guess. Let's put some ice on it. I'm just gonna inundate this hoodie with ice. Okay, it's all iced up. So I'm going to do better black, blue, gray, hydrangea. Okay, now I'm going in with the hydrangea. Oh, I'm almost out. I'm gonna put this in the middle. Well, this will be like where, like probably right over the heart. Cause remember the sleeves are on the side here. Well, I guess that's not the heart. That's not even the heart. That's enough hydrangea for today. <laughs> Actually, to make the hydrangea a little bit more purple, I'm gonna try something I never tried this before. But I have this color, ultraviolet. I think I just wanna like sprinkle it over top to see if it'll kinda make a more complex color. Maybe just a little bit right there. Okay, now I got my better black. I'm just gonna fill in all those areas. I'm also gonna put peony in there. I also love this one. It just separates so pretty. I can't even scoop any up. And I think I'm just gonna put little dots of it places. See how that goes. Wow, this is so exciting. It takes like eight hours, at least, to let it all melt. But, oh, it's just brutal when you have to wait that long. It's already doing its thing. Ah! Not a fan of that blue-gray color with the orange coming through. Not a fan, not a fan. 
hopefully the ice does its work and gives it some changes. Although, you know, it wouldn't be that bad. Without little weird things like that, it wouldn't be ice dye, would it? It wouldn't even be ice dye without those little things. Alright. Now we gotta wait eight hours. Let's check on her. Ooh, that looks like Christmas morning. <laughs> there we go, it's getting nice and deep. Not just on the top. And it's only been four hours. Okay, day two. It has been sitting for more than eight hours, uh, which is good for a hoodie because it's so thick. It did get fully saturated like I had hoped, except for right there. It looks like it did get a little speckly, but hopefully that'll rinse out. And if not, that's tie-dye. Let's go rinse her out. And then, the reveal. So excited. It's reveal time. Are you ready? One, two, three. In the back. Probably from the raven. No, I use better black. Hmm. I think it's from the gray. Remember it was kind of red? review this is the blue gray this is the hydrangea this is the peony the peony every time I do peony with ice dye it always separates into the bright blue and the hot pink this looks like hydrangea because it's a little darker and the grayish blackish colors the better black very cool very cool all right thank you so much for watching don't forget to come back for more new videos being posted soon